it's all things blowouts today, what kind of blow dry gives you the most volume and hold in your fine flat hair while tackling the difference between a blowout brush and a classic dryer and round brush? Let's go. Getting volume can be make or break for a lot of different people and as someone with naturally fine, lifeless hair, it is crucial that I try and get the most amount of volume as possible with every single blow dry. Achieving that volume though can be quite a bit of work. Life is hardly easy, so it became a huge game game changer when blowout brushes came back onto the scene to make a voluminous blow dry easier. But do blowout brushes provide the same volume and longevity in a blow dry? I'm going to be drying one side of my head with a blowout brush and the other side with a blow dryer and round brush to show you all immediate side by side results as well as seeing which side holds up the best over the course of my day. And while drying each side, I will quickly be breaking down the pros and cons of each dryer. I'm excited to try this out. I have a strong love for both. So let's head into the salon and get to it. I'm going to start off with a blowout brush first. The one I'm using is the Timo Volumizer. It is your classic oval shape. And I've also put in my products what I call the trifecta, which is a root lifter, volume mousse, and a blow dry cream. All three of these products paired together always give me great results that I love. I've got my hair sectioned off. Sectioning is super, super important with any blow dry as you get much more control in the shape that you're creating. And I'm going to be really working to lift my hair for max volume while also trying to give some bend through my ends. If you're unfamiliar, a blowout brush is a single tool that both the motor and brush bristles are in one unit. Blowout brush pros are that they are much easier to use and easier on your body. If you're limited with your mobility, hands down, they are the best choice over a standard dryer and brush. They take up less space and you're able to work the hair closer to how one might in the salon on your own at home, partly because you're only holding one tool versus two where connecting those two while drying your hair can be challenging. The cons with a blow up brush though, is that you typically have less options as far as heat and speed go. Blow up brushes do not produce the same amount of airflow as standard dryers, meaning that the air comes out of the brush a lot less fast. So to balance this, the heat temperature is usually much, much hotter than a standard dryer and using a heat protectant is always important anytime heat goes on our hair, but with a blowout brush, it is vital. Like don't even use a blowout brush if you're not going to use a heat protectant. That is how much hotter these can be. The heat is higher to compensate for the lack of airflow or speed to help the process basically not take forever. When using a blowout brush for volume, I do recommend using the cool setting on your dryer because these do get so hot, it's best to lightly cool the hair down before moving to the next section. Cool air is going to help set the volume into place. It is an added step that adds a little more time, but I do feel that it helps. Okay, it is dry. First off, it feels super silky soft. Actually, I forget how nice this makes my hair feel. I would like a tiny, tiny bit more just overall, I feel like body in this mid area, but overall not that bad. I don't know that I feel like my ends are as smooth as I would like, but otherwise it feels really nice and I feel like it looks really shiny. So now I got to get my hair prepped to see how the other one does. I'm applying my products in the same way as I did on the other side, the trifecta and the dryer I'm using is also from Timo. This is the air hype light. And because it's not a blowout brush, I have more options. So I'm drying on medium heat and high speed. So this produces a lower heat, but a higher speed than the volumizer at this setting. I am working my brush through my hair while lifting to get the most volume. And the brush I'm using is two and a half inches in circumference as I wanted to use a brush similar in size as much as possible to the volumizer blow up brush pros about using a separate blow dryer and brush is I feel that you get more control in the amount of lift once you have this style of drying down and the heat is directed more precisely while the blow up brush distributes air everywhere the heat with a blow dryer is being concentrated to the set area you're working on because that nozzle is guiding that hair while you're moving your dryer and brush through your hair 
I also like the added shape a round brush gives to the hair as you're able to get a little bit more bend. Cons is that a separate blow dryer and brush when styling like this is a lot more work. If you're new to this style of drying, you're going to feel really uncoordinated at first as it's more challenging. It also requires a lot more movement in your arms and shoulders. If you're not familiar with the style of drying or you feel you might need more work, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a how-to video on drying your hair this exact way. Okay, I mean, I feel like it's pretty safe to say that this side has way more fullness and volume, I'm much more happy with it. And it definitely has a little bit more bounce and bend, especially through my ends. So now we'll just have to see how well they hold up. I am gonna finish off with hairspray and an anti-humidity spray, and then we will see how they do. The rest of my day was pretty typical. I researched some different video ideas. I did a little script work on a video. I prepared lunch. I had to embrace the dreaded Florida heat to go grab the mail. So exhausting, I know, but I am so over the heat of Florida this summer. You walk outside and you instantly feel like you are melting. By the end of the night, I felt like while I had lost some volume on both sides, I still did prefer the way my hair looked on the blow dryer and brush side. The blowout brush side by no means looked bad. I still felt it was holding that shine, which makes sense as the barrel is titanium, which produces great shine. It just looked to me more smooth and sleek versus voluminous. I like volume and I want it at all times and I feel the blow dryer and brush side held up better for me and how I like to wear my hair. Both of these options do serve their purpose. You definitely will be able to get a little more volume and volume that holds for a little longer with a separate blow dryer and brush, but it can be challenging. So let me know in the comments if that's a video you would like to see for sure. I'd love to be able to help you all get a better idea on how to do it on your own at home. Both tools from Tymo will be linked below in the description and pinned comment along with a discount code if you wanna check it out. I really do like this brand. They're affordable, they give good results. Results. They're overall just nice every time I use them. I hope you all enjoyed the video and I will see you on the next one.